city decided to take action to clean up some properties in the city because homeowners just refused to do it. Tarpon Springs City Council just passed a nuisance ordinance that can force the cleanup of a house in the city limits. New at 11, Edward Lawrence takes a look at the first house the city targeted for this mandatory cleanup. You can't get to the door of 304 West Lime Street in Tarpon Springs to see if the owner, Maria Lowe, answers. Using the driveways out of the question, stuff sits everywhere, from decaying fruit near the property entrance to cardboard boxes full of paperwork on the steps. They think that the stuff is junk. Right. It's my records. Tarpon Springs Police Sergeant Ed Miller says this property has looked like this for years. Under an old ordinance, the city fined homeowners but was powerless to collect any money until the house was sold. Now, a new ordinance gives code enforcement more power. Now this ordinance will give us a little bit of teeth to, to take some serious action. Sergeant Miller runs code enforcement for Tarpon Springs. He used this house as an example to convince the city council to pass a new nuisance ordinance. Sergeant Miller works with a homeowner to develop an action plan. After that, the homeowner has 45 days to fix the issues. Fines are added to the property taxes, and if an owner can't pay, they lose the home. Lowe gave me all kinds of excuses. Right. Comes out of my car, sits here till I get back. If I'm too tired and I'm exhausted, yeah. it sits here. It yeah. rains, I've got trash. What about just throwing it all away? I can't. I've got, I've got to deal with IRS. Okay. I've got my school records in all mixed mm. up. I'm going to throw my clothes away? Right. I don't throw books like that. I mean, as a teacher, I can't throw something like that. When I got it, it was brand new. Right, but now... But now it's ruined, so yeah. all this has got to go in the garbage. Edward Lawrence, ABC Action News.